Hey folks, welcome back to my Knock Mile Arc. Today's Lake 34 of our 50 States Tour, and today we are in North Carolina in the Nantahala National Forest, and we are going to do two very short legs today. In fact, I think both legs are less than 60 nautical miles, and two legs meaning instead of just going from point A to point B, we're going to go from A to B, then to C. So we're going to have two airports in this little video and it's kind of funny because I realized the last time we did two legs in one video for the tour was in the same aircraft so just complete coincidence but it's been a long time since we've done more than one airport in one video so I thought we'd give it a shot just to give a little bit more more substance to the video other than like a 20 nautical mile hop so we'll do two short hops today anyway we are in the just flight Turbo Aero 3. It's the 3 because the rear tail wing is down. If it were at the top of the tail, it'd be the 4. That's how I can tell the difference. Otherwise, let's see here. Unmodeled airport. So we're just gonna, I just drag the airplane using the map off a little bit. I'm just really enjoying the scenery right now. Like usual, every place we've been so far on this tour has been more scenic. So I am learning so much non-airplane stuff doing this tour that has been worth every every moment of it and um i think we've circled around like three times now. i think that's enough circling road weather is turned on of course and it's just clear no wind here and no wind and clear at our destination as well and um 8 a.m in the sim so there you go there's our introduction let's get going let's hop inside and get things going here Again, if you mouse wheel, you can hide that arrow. All right, so wait, here it is. Bring that down. Um, let's see, I'm flying the plane today and we have a friend with us. And where is it? And the children, young kids, just giggling. They probably won't even pay attention to the flight. And a few things in the back like water and snacks. There you go. Plenty of fuel for what we're going to do. Let's hide that. You set our view there. There we go. What is next? Trying to see my checklist in my dark studio like always. Parking brake is set. And then next we're going to make sure that our controls are all reset to idle. There we go. We can probably hide the menu, I think. I don't know why I left that up. All right, controls set to idle. Battery can come on, which I think is the left one if I remember. Check the fuel gauges. And more than enough fuel. Make sure we got flow and not our lights are on. Okay, good. Turn the battery off then. Trim set to neutral. Oh gosh, where's trim in this thing? Is it between the seats? It is. Let's move the trim wheel here. Um, oh boy. Probably using one of my yoke. Bring it up to neutral. There we go. Just behind it probably. Recharge the battery, which we don't really need to do because we haven't flown yet today. Otherwise, where is that here? Yep. Battery's fine. And spark plug fouling, none. So that is all set. Let's open that up. There we go. All right. Oh, yeah. Auto switch on the fuel, which I think is by default. Yes. And that, again, is because you, the fuel is in the wings. And you have to switch tanks every 15 to 18 to 20 minutes, depending who you talk to. And that would be laborious to do in the sim so you just have this auto switcher here and you can hear it click too it'll click back and forth and what's clicking is the fuel thing down here from wing to wing all right so here we are ready to start this thing up hop outside so we can close our baggage door we're actually going to close the main door from the menu as well because it doesn't easily close all the time so latch there we go and latch up there there we go what do we have next Remove the chocks, which I think it did automatically. Yeah, one of the buttons I push removes them automatically. So anyway, there we go. So doors, chocks, latched, yes. Fuel tank to left. Is this my fuel thing? Yeah, move it to left. And you do it by doing like that, I guess. All right, props forward. What does that say? Props forward. Throttle the quarter. Air alt air closed it is I can see from here confirm the avionics are off turn the battery on that's where we have to hop over here this is alt air by the way there we go and nav and rotational beacons there we go 
fuel pump on low, which is up or down in this? Up. All right, you can hear it. Mixture rich, full forward. Confirm fuel flow on the gauges. And it looks like it to me. Good. Um, Y'all clear prop out the window. Clear prop. And let's close. I think it's about to get loud. Engine key. Do we flick and let go in this one? Yes, we do. There we go. All right, confirm oil. Yes, I know. Confirm oil, pressure, and temperature. Whoop. Hang on. The temperatures are rising. Um, sure. Let's see. Confirm that the lights went out on top. And alternators on. I think it turned on. I can't get to it from here. Um, there we go. Where did I miss that on my list? Uh, battery. Alt switch. Oh, that was the next thing. Confirm the light went out. Okay, never mind. I didn't skip anything. Throttles to 1400 to 1500. And there we go. Confirm gyro suction between 4 and 5. And it is. Lean the mixture to avoid spark plug fouling. And it should drop. And that should drop too. There we go. And let's see what is after lean mixture. Turn on all of the radio hardware. So let's see what's that going to be. Turn that on. Turn that on to stand by. Looks like that was already on for some reason. Okay. And turn that on. We don't, I'm not going to use it though. I just like to turn everything on. That's on. Okay. Turn whatever. And turn that on. Awesome. All right, all the hardware is on. Let's see what is next. Move fuel tank from left, right to left, and back again. Yay! It stayed running this time. Sometimes it doesn't stay running. I think the gyros already did. Altimeter and barometer. So, what do we need to do next? We need to click on this airport and get our barometer. Is three zero one four three zero one four whoops wrong way three zero let's move even more there we go three zero one four just like that all right and then the flight plan which we're not really gonna have a flight plan it's simply gonna be flying from one airport to the other so let's clear this out of here delete flight plan and then that's our first airport where we are the second airport we go to is going to be gotta check my list carefully one alpha five. So let's get that in there super fast. There is one alpha five, which whoops, too far. There we go. And after that is gonna be two four alpha. So let's get that in there. There is two. Come on. Whoop. Nope. There we go. Two four alpha. There we go. So let's back up here and go direct. So the plan is to be a VFR flight, but we're just going to have the GPS with our airports because I have no idea where we are. So there we go, 22 miles, 22 nautical miles, and then 11. See, super easy. I already set that to CDI just in case you use autopilot so we can sightsee. Uh, let's see, there we go. There it is right there. Boom. Barely anything. All right, awesome. All right, so let's see, that is our flight plan. What is next? We're going to get ready to taxi. All right, so to taxi this thing, there are no taxi lights. Let's just hop into taxi view, and we will keep the mixture lean. And we're going to let go parking brake, give this thing some gas. And since winds are calm, we're going to take off on this runway over to our left, which I didn't look up what number it is, but... Um, if we were from the area, we would know. But here we go. Okay. There we go. Let's get out. Is that a big train coming at us? Or going away from us? I guess it's a train going away from us. That's awesome. Super cool effect. Alrighty, let's see. Let's get flaps down first set. Uh, we can tax a little faster than that. Otherwise, taxi. Yep, just taxi. Alright, let me put my checklist down. It was blocking my monitor, so I lost track where it was. Let's just taxi out here. Some nice wing views. And so on and so on. And we'll just come out here. 
spin around to the right. Whoa, my thing is going wherever it wants to. I know I've complained a lot about not having rudder pedals because my rudder control is on my yoke, but also it doesn't seem to center itself, which adds, just adds a layer of difficulty. <laughs> All right, so, whoa, come on. All right, you know what, let's do a run up today. We haven't done a run up in a while, so let's kind of move over a little bit and hold the parking brake. And what are the run up? Parking brake set, props full forward, mixture forward, throttle to two grand. And there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not two grand. That's getting closer to two grand. All right, then we do mig left, mig right. Uh, where's my mouse? Here we go, mig left, mig right. Back to both. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Alrighty, that seems to be working. Confirm gyro suction, oil temperature, oil pressure, and ammeter. Press to test the annunciator lights, which is around here somewhere. Is it that one? Yep, there we go. Alright, mixture still rich. Props back, forward, back, forward. Note RPM drop and back to forward. Alt air to open. And confirm manifold pressure. Yes, good. Back to close. Fuel pump off. Confirm fuel faster than the green it is. Back to on. Throttle to idle. Do we have a smooth idle? So far, so good. Okay, good. There we go. All right, let's go back to here and put that back in and put that back in. All right, good. Before takeoff, confirm. Battery and alt to on, fuel pump to low, alt air close, manner props and mixture full forward, flap 10 degrees, making up both landing lights on. Where are they? Right there. Um, trim in the middle where you did that. Confirm doors latched and locked in both places down there and up there. Yes, it is. Pytot heat on. Heading bug in case we screw up our takeoff and pump autopilot. So let's hop to the runway before we set the heading bug because I don't know what the runway heading is. Silly me. You're supposed to know those things before you hop in the plane. But that's okay. Well, I think it said eight or something. Eight. So. Roughly 80 degrees. So let's hop out here, center ourselves, and stop again, and parking brake, and come down here and set the... Oh, don't crash on me, Sim. Oh my gosh, weather updated, probably. Set this to 80. Where's the heading bug? Nope, nope, heading... Heading bug. Come on, there we go. Set that to roughly 80 degrees. Can we click it? Click a couple. There we go. Excellent. Alrighty, heading bug, set autopilot, well, autopilot, oh gosh, what's my autopilot preset? I moved that, where did I put it? Autopilot 9, oh, don't stall, come on, there you go, autopilot, um, over here, so on, we're not going to do it, but if we do heading, yeah, if we use it, we'll talk about it if we decide to use it. All right, so 6.9. I flew for more than an hour yesterday, so if I flown this for a 7, I don't know. i got to check these aircraft after I record and see if that actually goes up. Because I don't know. Is that total sim time? No, because I've been doing hundreds of hours in the sim. Anyway, what are we going to do? We're going to head out, follow that pink line, and then land. 22 miles, not a couple miles, so we're only going to go up like, I don't know, we're at 1,700 feet now. Maybe go up a couple grand AGL. Otherwise, what do we have left to do? Start the clock. There's another train. Um, there we go. Yes. All right. Forward view. Take off. Lift off at 70 knots. Gear up. Flaps up. Climb. Fuel pump. Fuel pump will probably stay on because we'll be coming straight down. Landing lights will stay on because we'll be coming almost straight down. There's parking brake off. Let's goose this thing. It's turbo. Let's listen to that turbo. Wow. It really, I almost have full right rudder. There we go. Oh my gosh. It's really hard to control. <laughs> We're doing it though. We're doing it. We're doing it. Lift off. 70. Up you go. Upsy, upsy, upsy. There we go. And gear coming in. 
and a little bit of wind. Let's hop outside because um, I don't want to miss. Don't want to miss this awesome scenery. Flaps coming in, trying to fly, bring back throttles a little bit. You can hear that turbo hissing. Having a really hard time here flying this thing from the outside into the sunrise. Look at these awesome mountains. Where's that other airport though? It's not going to be a straight shot because of these mountains. Huh, interesting. Let's hop inside, bring back throttle so that triple light goes out. There we go. All right. Um, nice views, but it's a short flight. we got to figure out where we're going. So actually, that's not triple. It's like over speed or something. What does that say? Over boost. Yeah. All right. Well, I didn't realize it was so hilly here. you think I would know that. Oh, we're trimmed exactly for 90 knots. And that's what it says. Climb at 90 to 97. Wow. Either that's luck or I know what I'm doing after all. Alrighty, so... Um, looks like we can just keep going straight. And there's an airport there somewhere. Okay. I guess. Um, I'm kind of nervous because of these mountains. So I think what we'll do is we'll graze the top of these mountains. Kind of find this valley a little bit. Or, you know what we're going to have to do. Well, let's sightsee first. And then we'll take out the iPad with the map. And we'll, um, we'll have a look. How did everybody do back there? Good. All right. What are my other views? So I have got seats and... Oh, I just have those seats. That's it. Hmm. I swear I had more, more views to choose from. But I guess they don't. I have all 20 programmed already. Remember, you can do 20 presets. All right. What are we at? We are at almost... 4,500. I only wanted to go up to four grand, but obviously these mountains are taller than that. So we're going to climb to about 55 or 6, I guess. And try to stay on that pink line if we can. Okay, let's take out the iPad here and let's pull up our map app and see where we're headed here. We're headed to right. Okay, so it's going to get really dicey here with these high mountains, and then we're going to nosedive down to 2020 same well, same barometer though so 2020 is our destination okay we're just going to go for it try to look for this lake that looks awesome surrounded by mountains i told that before no that was on my minecraft channel i told that story i'll tell that in a minute so let's just follow the pink line should be straight in shot too wind is calm so we can pick any runway we want we'll pick seven i guess 2020 is the altitude all right, we'll follow the pink line, fly straight in. That's the plan. Stay above these mountains, try not to hit anything. So anyway, the um, mention of water. I have, not an obsession, but I have this desire to go somewhere. There's the water where you go in the mountains and you are surrounded, and you find water like that, and you're surrounded by mountains. I got the f idea Oh gosh, probably 15 or even, no, more than that, 25 years ago probably, when I got my first computer. And that was a built-in desktop image for Windows, I think. It was a mountain, who knows where, a lake surrounded by mountains. And it was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Have yet to see it in real life. I've come close. When we were in the Rocky Mountains a year and a half ago, we came close to something like this. But... Just something where you see like a big lake or a modest lake surrounded by mountains. But I'm not talking about mountain peaks that are only a couple hundred feet up like we saw in the Rockies. I'm talking about thousands, snow-capped mountains up against the water. I really want to find a spot like that and visit in real life. But um, this is the closest we're going to get in the sim. But there you go. Isn't that beautiful? Awesome. Alrighty, I better level off here because... um. We don't want to get too high because we got a nosedive. I don't know. Maybe there's another ridge or two there. Or maybe the airport's in between those two. Whatever it is, this flight is way more exciting and dramatic than I thought when I planned it a couple months ago. I thought it was just going to be two quick little hops. <laughs> but no, it's a quick hop. But we got to navigate all this terrain. How awesome is this? Alrighty, we got to bring back props and um, throttles for crews. So what do we want to do for crews? 2,228 on the manifold. So bring back to 28. I can't really see that far. 28 on the manifold. 
22 on the props. There we go. And if I trim right, we should level off quite nicely. There we go. Well, no, not like that. Not quite like that. Let's give a little bit more on the throttle. There we go. Wow, this thing flies like a dream. A little bit off course here. Alrighty, so let's do some sightseeing quickly because we're going to miss all the sightseeing because we're managing the aircraft, which I know if we were really flying in real life, we would be managing the aircraft, right? But I want to do some sightseeing, so let's hop out here and just admire this beautiful scenery. This is crazy beautiful. I did not expect to see this. Again, you think I would know better since I am pretty well versed in my U.S. geography as well as world geography, but I guess I didn't realize it would be this amazing. You can see the city back there where we took off from. Taking screenshots, that's why you see it stalling. And there's an awesome little lake right there, surrounded by mountains. That is super cool. Wow, I don't know what to say. We'll just keep looking around here. Just after sunrise, some farmland. There's something else I really, really love about the mountains, and I saw these in the Smoky Mountains um, in West Virginia on our honeymoon on the way to Tennessee is when you have a little town in the middle of mountains or you have a town that's hanging off the side of a mountain. I've talked about that before too. My wife had a friend in grad school and they lived on top of a mountain. So the town was at the bottom of the mountain and their house was the only house on top of this mountain. And she would always send us pictures of her sunrise and mornings back home and it was just crazy absolutely crazy all right let's give this thing a little bit more throttle we are really slow up here yeah we're at 8400 feet but don't have much choice we got to clear this train so we got to get down to 2020 so we got to come down let's see 2000 that's six gosh we got to come down 6400 feet in a short amount of time that's kind of crazy so what we'll do is we're going to keep flying following that pink line and then when we start to come down, we'll slow our speed down a lot so that we can come down rather steeply but not cover much ground laterally. That'll buy us a lot of time to come down because we're not that far away from our airport, 8.6 nautical miles. You can see how quickly that's moving across the map. So I would imagine it's probably right up in that little valley, huh? Let's pull up our iPad again and have a look. Yeah. It's right in that little valley right in front of us. So if we hop outside, which we could have do real life, in this valley somewhere is an airport. And I have no idea where it's going to be. But I'm hoping you can fly straight in based on the map. That is over to the right, I think. That might be it. I'm not sure. Let's just enjoy the scenery while we can and trim down a little bit so we start coming down a little bit. Bring back throttle a little bit to so use throttle to descend. Yeah, we have plenty of room to come down, so we should probably start coming down in a hurry. I just want to have a look around. I love the haze. I love real world weather, how I can have the haze. There you go. You can see the city behind us where we took off above the tail, and there's that lake. And here's our destination. And it is time to fly the plane, but I do want to look out the windows just a moment here. Why don't I have any back seat views? That's kind of weird. I should have some backseat views, maybe, because you can't really see much. Alrighty, here we go. I think the airport is right out there. I don't see anything yet. And the windows are filthy. But it's time to start coming down. So we're going to use throttles to descend. So bring back the throttles. Because it's trimmed for a certain speed. So if we bring back throttles to decrease power, there's the airport right under the nose. Okay, we got to come down in a hurry here. Um, if you bring back throttles to descend, it'll trim, or it's trimmed for a certain speed. So it'll hunt for that speed by pointing down. And we're way too high. How are you supposed to approach this thing? Because there's the airport right there. And I know we're kind of high, but we had to clear that train. So maybe we're supposed to fly out and come back? I think that's what we'll do. We'll go out over this ridge and then make a U-turn and come back because I don't think we can realistically nosedive for that runway. Maybe we could, but we're already coming down like 1500 feet per minute, which would already be very uncomfortable. 
So that's what we'll do. We'll circle and land. So let's um start our downwind leg a little bit here. We'll just follow this ridge. Stay a little, a little north of the ridge, and then we'll circle, short base, short final, and we'll land. So let's see here. What do we need to do? Not much. Just um nose dive. Let's bring back throttles till we get our gear warning. Which we're not going to get, I guess, because we're so fast. Alrighty. Well, let's um. Let's keep the GPS the way it is. And let's just keep nose diving and making our passengers very uncomfortable right now. But yeah, see how he's supposed to go there. I mean, it looks like a cutout approach there, but look at these mountains. I mean, we had to clear that terrain safely. See? So I'm not sure what you would do here. Um, I don't know. Anyway, we're just going to keep circling, circling, circling. And how are we doing on speed? We're within reasonable limits. I mean, it's a very uncomfortable descent, but that's the way it's going to be. You don't know the area, and you have a train like this. It just makes for a challenging moment. But so far, so good. We're going to have to lose speed quickly, though, if we want to make that turn and still land. So I think what I'll do is I'll aim for this town. Or not town, I guess that's a river. I'll aim for this river, and we'll kind of follow that river to turn around. And then, um, hopefully we'll be high enough. Well, we need to stay high enough to actually see the airport. We know it's at 2,000 feet. We're at 4,000 now. So we're 2,000 above ground level. So let's start leveling enough a little bit here. That'll slow us down, see? No problem. And the winds don't matter, so we'll just take whatever runway that is, which is going to be roughly 27-ish, probably. There we go. All right, so now we are 1,500 feet above ground level. Put the throttles back in. Props forward. Fuel pump is already on. And you do that in case you have to goose it to take off again. You'll get the power you need. Mixture is rich. Landing light's been on the whole time. And let's level off about here. This puts us about 1,200 feet above ground level. Because we have to be high enough to see the airport. I'm trying to look up to see here. Let's just follow this river because we know the river leads back to it a little bit. But let's hop outside anyway because we can, not to cheat, but just so we can take this view of the scenery here. Look how awesome that is. Isn't that so cool? There's a runway there, I believe. So we're going to have to keep banking, keep turning around. Very awesome. All right, what are they looking at? Good. All right, um, I believe the airport was up here. What are we at? We we're 800 feet above ground level. And I don't quite know where the airport went. I think that's it up there to the left. I think, all right, let's slow us down a little bit, get within range for flaps and gear. All right, we're gonna watch like a set of flaps here in a second. Yep, and that's telling me that my throttles are back and my gears aren't down yet. There we go. Now my gear's down and it's happy. There's a runway. We are totally visual now. So we're going to lean forward a little bit. I really wish I could see my speed. All right. Quickly landing. Whoop, pull back. Landing to touchdown, 75 knots. So we're at touchdown speed now, so let's goose it a little bit. Hear that turbo kick in. There we go. All right, let's do our regular view because that's too much. All right. We'll do full flaps in a moment. As soon as we figure out where we are. I told you it's going to be a short final. Oh, yeah, very short final. All right, full flap now. I want to touch on about 75 knots with throttles at idle. You hear people argue about that on YouTube, but um, the designers of the airplane and the real life airplane, you land with throttles at idle, so that's what we'll do. Let's keep our speed up. We don't really need to do such a short field landing. Coming over those trees. Looks like I have a little bit of crossing from the right. I'm not going to worry about it. All right, so here we go. Slight flare. Throttles at idle now. Just let it settle down on its own. Come on, settle down on your own. Not a hurry. There you go. Ooh, not perfectly smooth, but okay. All right, got the nose wheel down without slamming it. Um, are we going to be able to stop and make this exit? Yes, we are. There we go. Flaps coming in. 
and we're going to park a minute, make sure everything's okay. The kids have to use the bathroom, and then we will be on our way to the next airport. Where are we going here? I think we're just going to... We're just going to turn here. And, oh, well, there's a parking, so let's tax up to that parking. What do we want to do? We want to turn the landing lights off, which I think are that one. Can't quite see from here. Landing lights come off. There we go. We want our mixture lean. So we don't follow the spark plugs. Flaps are already in. Let's stop the clock on that one. 1612. I haven't quite figured out how to reset this. Well, that does work in this airplane. Some airplanes it doesn't work. Okay. 1612 it was for that leg. Sure seemed a lot longer. It's kind of a stressful, kind of a stressful flight to be honest. Again, not knowing the area and dealing with terrain. So that's what happens. Alright, let's see. Whoa! What was that? I didn't touch anything. That was... I don't know what that was. Alright, let's see here. Let's pull off over here, and then we'll get set up for our next flight. Alright, half an hour later, and the kids had their snacks, and they went to the bathroom, and we're back in the plane. We're up and running already, so we don't have to go through all that again. We are simply going to check our destination, and um, head out, so we can't really see where we're going because I'm still the way. So let's see, let's hide that for a second. Oh, let's not stall the airplane. There we go. Um, flight plan. All right, take off at 67 degrees, 11.8. It's gonna be a super quickie. All right, so let's see here. Let's just double check the weather one more time, make sure that everything is okay. And it is what? 3 to 1, 4, same thing when calm. So we'll just take off on runway 7. We landed on 25, but we'll use 7. So we're going to taxi to the left, turn around, and just keep going. It's right there. Boom. Hop, skip, and a jump. Destination is higher than this, 2,800 feet. Ooh, different barometer. We'll change that when we're in the air. Okay. Let's do it. Let's um, take off the parking brake. Mixture is still lean, so you don't follow the spark plugs. Give this thing some gas. First set of flaps down. And we're simply going to taxi to the left. Take off on runway 7. Quick 12 miles to the east with some train to deal with. And plan on 2,800 feet altitude for landing. Completely VFR. We'll pull up the iPad again if we have to. But we really shouldn't have to. I'm going to meet you at the end of this runway, and we'll take off from there. All right, enjoy the scenery while you can, because we're just going to roll this one out. So let's hop over here and get landing lights going. Fuel pump is on. Pytot heat is on. And what we need to do once we come around this corner is make sure forward, props forward, and start the clock. But we're going to wait till I get around this corner. All right, and here we go. Mixture forward. Start that clock again. And let's roll on out. Runway 7. I should reset the heading bug, but it's at 8, so we'll be fine. And here we go. Get that turbo going. Almost full right rudder again. As soon as we get to 70, we'll lift off. There's 60, 65, and rotate. It should pop right up. There we go. Gear coming in. Just trying to keep this thing level. And 300 feet above ground level in just a moment here. And flaps coming in. And pretty much going to be a straight shot up and over this mountain. And then we will look for that other runway, which we're actually below our landing altitude right now. Isn't that kind of funny to think about? We're below our landing altitude yet. So we're going to clear these mountains. It looks like to be a little bit of plateau then. And our landing altitude is this. Isn't that funny? Alright, let's bring back the throttles a little bit to get that over boost off. There we go. Good, everything's set. Let's look outside and enjoy where we're leaving from and hopefully we'll clear this terrain. Very cool. Cute little town. Town is half the size of the airport. And up we go into the sunrise. Hopefully we're going to clear these mountains. I don't think that'll be a problem, though. Wow, look at that. So amazing. And that's not bad either. Look at that, that road going up into the mountain. 
All right, what do we got? We're going to aim for the narrowest part of the lowest part here. So we're going to be a little bit off track to get around these mountains, but then we'll go to the left. But we're not even above that train yet, let alone wanting to be about a thousand above because you don't want to be affected by the winds going around the mountain peaks and things. So that's why you want to keep a good altitude above your train. You don't just want to skim it. So we're going to keep going up, up, up and away. Oh, I think I actually see the airport already. If you look, if you look at the tip of the nose and go left around that ridge, I think that's where we're headed. So we'll kind of fly through this little valley here. So we'll level off in a moment. We can actually probably bring our props and throttles back a little bit now to help blow things up. There we go. And we'll level off a little bit here. So again, yeah, we're way below our train, but we're going to find our way through this little valley. And weather must be updating because we're stalling. And it looks like we're going to approach the runways at perpendicular. So we're going to have to probably circle to land. Again, this is all VFR flying. And that's the point of today's flight. Otherwise, let's just have a look at our iPad here, see where we're going. Yeah, exactly right. Yep, we're going to go between those mountain ridges and then fly out. We'll approach this either at 90 degrees and circle to land over the center of the airfield, or if we can see it far enough, we'll come out and land. I think winter is still calm. They are, but we have to set our barometer to 3011. So let's hop down here, zoom in, and 301, one, right there. Okay, there we go. And we're looking for 2857 for our destination altitude. Why is this installing? Because of weather. And the clouds go below the mountains, so I don't know if this is going to work. We might have to um, raise those clouds, so let's do that right now. Yeah, the clouds went below the train level, so there's no way. So I raised them, except I don't think I raised them quite enough. I put them at the... Yeah, we going to have to raise them more. Hang on. All right, I raised them to like 7,000 or something, so we should be underneath them once they clear out here. Otherwise, we are just going to go back to our pink line now. There we go. Yeah, we're right at the base of clouds, which is good enough. Still kind of dangerous, but good enough for us. All right, let's see here. What can we do? Let's just make sure we're not going to crash into anything. Boy, this is risky, isn't it? All right, let's see. So the plan... Let's go back to the pink line now and follow it while we tease the base of these clouds. Let's try not to climb. Let's try to stay at this altitude because if we follow the nose, we should be fine with terrain. Let's pull up our iPad one more time. And it looks like, yeah, we're going to be just fine. Just fine. So we actually start turning to the right already, it looks like. So, yep, because we crossed the pink line. There we go. All right. Follow the pink line straight in, and hopefully we can see an airport. I'm getting kind of nervous about this. Let's just keep following that pink line. All right, there we go. Look out the window while we can. Very scary. Very scary indeed. What started out is a fairy tale flight turned into disaster. Oh wait, what? No, we haven't landed yet. <laughs> All right, let's see. Follow that pink line. So there should be an airport right off her nose again, and I don't see anything at all. Nothing at all. Pick up her eye. Oh, it's right there, I bet. Oh, boy. Yep. It's that flat thing right there. Oh, goodness. Hmm. Okay, so again, we're coming in way too high, but what are you supposed to do when you've got all this terrain? We're going to fly over the center of it like I planned. Yep. Okay, so I didn't need the map after all, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to fly over the center of it, because it's right under our nose right now. If you look, see right there. See? Fly over the center, circle to the left, come in through that valley for a landing, I think. Make a tight turn. I think we can do it. Let's do it. Bring throttles back. Slow this thing down. Props forward. We'll probably put gear out 
in order to slow us down, although it doesn't. No, I don't think we need to. All right, keep some throttles in. We don't want to make our passengers throw up more than we need to. What does this say? Destination? Arriving waypoint. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, so we got to come down. We're at 4,900 feet. So we got to come down 2,000 feet. So we're just going to go down in this little valley, come back across that river. And the airport should be right behind us. Let's zoom this thing in. That's not going to do any good. Never mind. We'll use iPad if we have to. But we shouldn't have to. All right, let's see what we're going to do. We're going to try to do a somewhat realistic descent into this place. Again, not knowing the area. And we had some IMC. Makes it kind of scary. Barometer set. Landing lights are on. Fuel pump is on. It's just a matter of gear and flaps in a moment. It's, that's our gear warning. Seeing we're slow. And our throttles are back without gear down. And um, we're not going to quite worry about it yet. Runway should be right behind us. Yep. All right, let's see if we can do this. All right, let's do gear down. Just so we can bring throttles back and slow us down. And we're going to make a very, very sharp U-turn. All right, we're at 3,400, so we're only... Yep, yeah, I know. I know. We're set of flaps down. There we go. All right, we're only a couple hundred feet above ground level. So let's step a little bit till we can see the airport. And um, that way we can see. If we're too low, we won't be able to see it. Turn it around. Can we see it? If we can't, I'll bring up the iPad, but I don't really want to if I can help it. Um, we're below the train, so it must be right up there. Let's pop this thing up. Lots of throttle. Get that turbo. That's why, yeah, that is it. Okay. That's why I use the turbo arrow too, or the turbo arrow as well, for moments like this. When you're below your terrain, holy cow, that's very dangerous and very bad idea. iPad, where are we? Yep, so far so good. Boom. And a little bit to the left, which means as soon as we pop over this plateau, we should see it. There it is. Oh gosh, we're not even close. How are you supposed to approach that? All the trees are in the way. What? Anyway, here we go. Second set of flaps. Third set of flaps. Throttles back. A little bit of throttle in. We're going to tease that stall speed because we're coming down. We should go around, but you know me and my go arounds, right? We don't. <laughs> Here we go. We're still going to make it. We have a long runway. We're going to come in. We're going to level off and bring back throttles. Bring it. Let it bring itself down. Oh, okay. Well, oh, actually, if you look at the VSI, that wasn't so bad. What? That sounded horrible. But looking at your gauges, that wasn't so bad at all. Okay, whatever. I'll take it. We didn't bounce. We planted it. And, okay, fine. There we go. Flaps are in already. We're just going to roll this one out. That was sudden. <laughs> roll this out to the end. Apply a little bit of brakes here. There we go. Whoop. Not that much brake. Then we'll roll off of this thing. I think there's a taxiway, isn't there? Stop this. Ten minutes. Quickie. Quickie on that one. And narrow little taxiway. There we go. Come over here if I can. Turn off the landing lights, Pytot, heat, and fuel pump. And are we still on the run? Run the yes we are. Taxiway. And bring back. Make sure so it doesn't follow the spark plugs. Come on. We can do it. There we go. Come on. Awesome. Okay, good. I'll take what I can get. All right, nice. All right, so let's see what we need to do. Everything is, yeah, set to taxi to a parking spot, which you don't have one. Um, otherwise, let's just go right here. Actually, have a look outside when we do this because we can. Come on. Oh, when you get stuck off, off road, it takes a lot to get going. There we go, stop you right there, hop inside, and set the parking brake, and what do we do to shut this thing down? Parking brake is set, yes, avionics come off. Does this turn off on this one? It does. Turn all these off, so that you don't disrupt them. And whoops, off is that side, off is that side. Throttles to idle, and they are. Mixture cut off. There we go. And Megs to off. 
and turn off all the remaining lights and alternator to off and battery to off like so fuel selector to off like s wherever you are. come on well oh there we go all right let's open up the window and open up the door and you're gonna open for me sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't there we go all right hop outside and get the big edge door open and the chocks and there you go i hope you enjoyed it two flights for one two for one special north carolina it was in the just flight triple arrow three I haven't flown this in a while but it's fun to do two short legs in the area i'm not familiar with now if i were if i had the time i would probably refly these now that i know the area and probably do more realistic descents and for sure more realistic approach to this last one that was really dangerous going below your train like that that was kind of crazy um in real life you would keep a better eye on your altimeter because <laughs> you know the airport is 28 feet right 2800 feet you should never drop below that also you would kind of circle to land to get a feel for it but anyway it's a simulator we do what we can I'm not a real pilot, obviously. I just play one on YouTube. Ha 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 in the simulator. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the flight. I certainly did. If you found back soon, please like, please subscribe. Please tell your friends if you are a regular subscriber. Thank you for your continuing support. We're breaking out the 727 for the next one. It's a big state, and there's enough room to fly the big jet. So look for the 727 in a couple days or so, and I'll catch you on the next one.